and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first restoration video of 2023. Um, I hope everybody's well and um, you know getting into the new year already. Now before we go any further I must apologize um, for taking so long to bring out my first video or restoration video of the year. Um, in my wisdom I thought I'd do a batch of models all at the same time which is fine but the ones I picked it's sort of they've been a lot more work than I thought and um, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought but I hope you'll find that the time it's taken me has been well worth the while so I'm sorry for keeping you waiting I haven't deserted you I have been working on on the models and I have been working on the videos to try and get them out to you. So um, this first video, um, it's a double restoration and it's two models the same but I've done them slightly different. Um, you know I've done a custom, uh, custom paint job on one of them. Now one of these models I bought on eBay a little while ago it's it was in a bit of a mess and the other one I had kindly donated to me by um, Mr. David Yates that's one you will have seen in um, my, my purchases and donations video um, if you've watched that you'll you'll see that in the unboxing um, so you know I'm quite pleased with the way these turned out and I uh, hope you will be too. So, as I always say, please sit back, relax, enjoy watching the video. See how I got on with these two models. Okay then let's take a closer look at these two. So this is the one that I got from David Yates. He very kindly donated this to my channel. And um, it's not in bad nick. It's got some bends in the base there. As you can see what we got in the base. So it's a dinky AC Monarch. So what's it? Thompson Tank. Made in England, McKenna Limited. Yeah, dinky toys. So it's got a nice set of tyres on it. The base is a bit um, bent and rusty. We'll straighten that out, we'll sort it out. So we've got four rivets in there. And um, we've got, uh, like the tongue that goes through this piece. Um, there's like a groove that hooks in. Um, so we got that. Now this has had a bash I think in the bottom and has pushed it back a little bit. So it's had a bash in the bottom of the radiator. So we'll have to straighten that out. The axle's a bit bent but that's nothing. Um, what else have we got? The pillars here are slightly bent back but that'll be okay to straighten out. Other than that, it's all complete. It's a very nice little model. And I like this one very much, and it it is bigger than what I thought it was. Um, I'd been after one for quite a long time, and they always were going quite expensive. And um, I ended up that I got this one. You will have seen it in one of my purchases video uh, before David sent me that one. Um, but I got it cheap because, as you can see, the cab is all bashed, twisted, just bent back. The pillar's broken. And it's really out of shape quite a bit. Um, that one's got no tyres. The base is rusty and all bent up as well. Um, so I thought, being as this one's in quite a mess, what I'll do, 
I'll cut three this one. This one from David I will put back how it's supposed to be. But this one I'll code three. And um, I want to put this in the um, um, oh, mobile oil livery. So it's like a darker red, a more maroony red, um, red all over. And I'll put different dec decals on it. So, like I say, I will code three that one, being as it's in such a mess. I don't mind doing it to those, um, but I do want to do one, keep one original, so that's the one I'll keep original. Okay, so we'll get the tools out, get my tin lid, and we'll get cracking on that one, or well, those two, I should say. Right, okay, then here we go. Um, I've drilled these uh, rivets out already. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Well, I haven't opened I've done it with both of them. I haven't opened either of them yet. I don't know if I've drilled enough even. So, I'll start with the one I bought on eBay. Um, boom. Yeah, that's okay. That's gone. I've actually drilled a bit too much on there. Touch the base plate a bit. Which is not very really good. Okay, those front ones, I don't know if I've drilled enough. I don't think I have. Let's see. Don't think I have. No, yeah, I have on that one. Just that last one near there. No, don't think I have. Yeah, that's got it. I'll have to file those down a little bit more. Um, and then drill them. Right, okay, so that's those four rivets, and then we've got this little tongue here, which you've got to be careful. I thought it went all the way across, it doesn't, so I don't think it's broken because there's red paint on it, so I think it's just, you know, like two little hooks. Okay, so a bit of spider's web in there, and a little spider, dead spider or skin of a spider but um, that's that bit now these wheels I'm going to get off in the same way as I normally do you've seen it before where's me where's my little file there's my little file it's down there as um, Martin always shows us the edge of the file that's smooth this side's got little sort of teeth in it so put the smooth side to the wheel that's the smaller mushroom there so we'll file a bit like that Okay, so that's that one off. Now I'll do the same with the back one. And I'll do it off camera because it'll be too long otherwise the video. You can see that's a smaller mushroom. This side is much thicker. So we do this side. So I'll do that and then um, I'll get the base plate off of this one as well. I'll do that off camera. You've seen me do the first one. So as not to make the video too too long. I'm just 
just looking there if there's anything going off that mud rod at the front. I think it's just worn. Not a lot you can do about that, maybe file it a bit squarer. It's one of those. It's, it's had a bit of a... Um, sorry, I'm going out of shot again. It's had a bit of a filing on the corner that you can see the mud guards rounded and the one on this one is square. So we'll just have to flatten that up a bit with the file if we can. Okay, I'll do that and then I'll come back to you. Right, I'm just heating the pillars here. I've done that one, I've straightened that one out, so I'm just going to do this one, heating it up, but the model's getting a little bit hot now. straight bit down the bottom it's not bad ah, gee that's really hot <laughs> that's not too too bad I think that'd be okay Maybe a little bit down here. I can't quibble at that. Can't quibble at that. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same on this one, but I'm going to have to heat a lot more. So I'm going to have to heat a lot of the cab here as well as the pillar and my blowtorch needs filling up with lighter fuel lighter fluid um, but yeah I'm going to have a bash at trying to get this one straight um, so I'm going to carry on heating this up and, and see how I get on with that right ok I've done the best I can with that it's um, straightened it out a bit well, quite a bit in fact it's not quite 100% because the whole front was pushed in um, like that so I've had to pull the whole thing out I've got the cab straight the only thing was this pillar that was bent in and um, it did snap off obviously as you can see when I tried to straighten it despite the heat um, same with this one as I straightened it the top snap but that pillar still there so I've still got half of this um, pillar here so I'll just add to it um, you know I'll put that piece the proper piece back which goes up to about there then this top bit here I'll do with a hair clip or something and then I'll try and um, do like I did with that BBC van um, you know try and do the moulding a bit with uh, filler and the roof needs filling as well because there's a bit of a dent and it does still go slightly down on that side very very slightly hardly noticeable but it does need a bit of filler in there so um, uh, you know I'll put some of the um, super glue and baking powder around those pillars and then the rest of I'll, I'll put filler in okay so that's that bit I've still got to drill the rivets, grind the tops off on this one and drill out the rivet posts. I've drilled out the rivet posts on this one. You probably, I don't know if you can see because of the light, the way the light is. But anyway, I have drilled the rivet posts out, ground the top down. Um, so that's 
ready for the caustic soda now. Okay. I've still got to take the wheels off on this one. I haven't done that yet. And, and finish doing it on the other one. So I'll come back to you when I've done that. And um, we'll all be ready for the... Or, or the models will be ready, I should say, for the caustic soda. Okay then, catch you in a bit. Right, okay then, that's all drilled out. Uh, all the posts ready to go. And I've straightened out the bases as best as I can. This is the worst one of the two, um, which was in the better cost, and believe it or not. Um, so I've straightened that as best I can and made sure it all fits. Uh, same with this one. I've done this one. Slightly bowed that way, but that's the way I want it. I've done it like that, so that when you put the rivets in, it's tight to these bits here. So, I've drilled out um, for jeweled headlights in this one. As this one's going to be a Code 3, I'm going to put jeweled headlights in it. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, I want to keep this one how Dinky did it. So, that's that. The wheels are all off, ready to go into caustic soda. Taking the tyres off, obviously. And I uh, found another set of tyres to go on the other one. So, they're the same. So that's it. Over to the caustic soda bath. Okay then. In with the hot water. In with the caustic soda. Oof, look at the colour change straight away. Well, as you can see, that's definitely working. Look, almost stripped already. Okay then, so... Um, I'll leave that a few more minutes as always and then um, next you'll see we'll have it on the bench all wire brush cleaned up ready for the primer okay then catch you in a bit right then we're all cleaned up wire brushed and ready for paint that one is anyway the base is on this one now I've had a job with this uh, to do the cab um, I haven't quite got it 100% straight, but it was very, very twisted back and out of shape and, you know, pushed in. Um, this piece here was pushed in. The roof was down a bit there and all pushed back as you saw it before we started. So, um, I've done the best I can. I don't want to go any further because I might mess it up. Um, I've had to make a new pillar. I've tried to do the shape, the little line um, for the door, it goes all the way up there. I've done it, um, you know, in with the super glue and the um, baking powder and I've tried to sort of carve it in. 
So I'm not going to touch that any further. Um, I hope it is going to look all right. That, like I say, that centre pillar is slightly going off to the right. But if I start messing around with that, I'm just going to make it worse. So that's almost ready for painting. But what I want to do with this one, because it's going to be in the um, mobile gas livery, it's going to be all red. So what I want to do is just mask off this like checker plate kind of thing. It's not quite checker plate, but you know what I mean. So this gantry part, or walk, walkway, whatever you would call it, I'm going to mask that off and I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to paint that bit, leave it silver like this. But what I'll do, I'll try and cut out the circles in the masking tape for the leads. And I will paint those red as well. And then what I'll do, I'll pick out the little bits and pieces in the top with Molotov afterwards if I can. So that's the plan. So I've got to get this mast off now before we go any further. Okay, so I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take a little while. So I'll come back to you when that's done and before we... Right, okay, that's done. Basically all I did, this tape here, um, two pieces stuck along there. And then I just cut out the circles with this craft knife. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. Um, so yeah, there we go. I had cleaned up a mess. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe over again because I've been touching it to put the tape on. And then we'll put the primer on it. Okay. Okay, that's the primer done on both of these. Um, this one I have had another go in it, um, you know you can see once the prime is on how it's going to turn out. That pillar not too too bad but not great, same with that one. Um, I can't shape that anymore because I'm down to the metal there, I know it looks like it might be filler but it's not, it's metal. So I don't want to touch it anymore. I've had to put a bit of filler in there, but that's still not great. The back of the tank cap was damaged when the cab was pushed back. Um, yeah, so really, I, I don't want to go any further with that in case I, I do mess it up. So it's sort of, it, it's reasonable, it's acceptable, I think, like it is. So what we're going to do now with this one, this is the one with the masking tape across the top. We're going to spray this one all in red. For the um, mobile gas or mobile gas, um, so that be the bit of the code three. This one's all ready for the yellow. I'm going to put the yellow on there, and um, then I'll have to mask that off, which isn't going to be easy. But I'll have to mask that off, and then we'll put the red. You know, once that's all masked off and or dried and masked off, so. Okay, that's where we are so far. The bases are done, so I'll go out and do the black on those. That's uh, an easy bit. So I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, catch you in a bit. Right, I've got to mask this off now. So this top part, um, you can't see, but along this, along this line here, that rounded or half rounded part of the tank's got to be masked off and right in there it's going to be bloody awkward because the cab's got to be red obviously so um, this part here has got to be red and this part here has got to be yellow so we've got to get right into there behind the cab and then down here it, it comes around there and down there across there like that this part down here stays yellow rest is red. Um, hasn't covered very well on these leads so I might try touching some yellow in around there with a brush or if, if that doesn't work I'll just maybe do them silver. We'll see, we'll see I haven't decided yet. They should be yellow uh, to keep it the same as uh, Dinky did it. Okay so we're gonna Mask that off and then come back to you when that's done. 
and then we'll spray the red underneath or on the bottom part in the cab. Right, well there you go, <coughs> all masked off. It's taken me over an hour to do that. I hope I've done it good enough. In there, very difficult. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go and give it a quick light coat of lacquer and then we'll leave it for a little bit and then I'll go and spray the red on. Okie dokie, so I'll get you when that's done. Right, okay, this is where I've got so far with this one. I've put the decals on and um, I've done some of the detailing, done the badge as close as I can get it. Um, I've put sort of very thin black paint in, inside the grill. Um, done a bit of trim on there. So what I want to do now is to put the jeweled lights in, which I've got here. Well, also I've put the wheels on the base, um, save a bit of time, put the tyres on for this one. So that's done ready, I've pinned over the axles. So yeah, we're going to try and put these jeweled headlights in now. So I can undo this pot of glue which has been on its side, which hasn't done it much good. Okay, I can undo it with the pliers. I've lacquered all these as well. I put the decals on first and then lacquered it. Okay, these me tweezers, let's get the tweezers ready. Right, so I've got this, I've shown you before, gem tack glue. Um, it clear, it dries clear, but it's, I'm going to have to get another pot because it's starting to go off. So, let's put a bit in here. I can see what I'm doing. A bit in here. Oops, bang the head on the camera. I don't want to put too, too much, but I'm going to put enough. Oh, that's more than enough. I'll right, chuck that cocktail stick away. I'm the excess on. I know it's a waste, but... Like I say, this is getting a bit... A bit uh, thick now, this one. So I think it's uh, time to get a new one. But it's meant for putting the, these gems, tool, uh, gem, what do you call them, like this, but the flat ones for sticking them to material. Um, yeah, I've got these glasses on, but I'm too far away because I'm behind the camera. So, oops, this is it. I'll take the other one now. This is the problem with these. <laughs> okay. I do need to be a bit closer really, but I can't because of the camera. I'll just get those in and then I'll straighten them up later. Well, not later, but in a minute. Okay, we've got them there. So put these glasses on and we'll bring it a bit closer. Actually, they're not too bad like they are. Not too bad at all. There. That'll do it. There you go. Okay. I'll show you the other one so far. 
the base is just the same I haven't put the wheels on yet but this is where I've got with this it um, the masking worked out really nice uh, I thought it was going to be the right pig to do it wasn't easy um, but it didn't turn out too too bad not too too bad a little bit the red didn't go 100% in there but it's hardly noticeable again I've picked out the aluminium strips or whatever they are that usually go on there this one I've just left the headlights um, the, the actual dinky model just had the middles done in silver but you know the outside rims are normally chrome but I thought well I'll just do them I'll just do them in uh, you know the same silver and then same thing I've done with this I used the Vallejo black but it wasn't that thick I did heat it up and I shook the pot really well um, but it come out all right it's probably ideal for these radiator grills and then again I've tried to do the AC badge as best I can but it's so small it's not easy um, yeah I've picked out these caps there in silver and I, I've just done that I know it wasn't on the actual model but I thought I'd do these silver it breaks it up a bit in the back and then we got the shell decal there and that's all been lacquered and I did these in silver as well as the little top things but I did have a job to get the yellow to cover in there so all I've got to do now uh, same with the other one I'm going to use the molotov and just do the door handle and the grab rail on the top there I'll do that on both models so that's that's that bit left to do plus the, the um, you know plus plus the wheels on the other base on the base for this one which the wheels are going to be yellow and I'll put the grey tyres on I think as well I think they had grey tyres I'm not sure because I've seen pictures with them both you know the black tyres and the grey tyres so whether Dinky put grey tyres or black tyres or both on this particular model in the shell you know in the, in this livery I don't know but I think they look nice in grey tyres so I'm going to do it do this one with grey and then obviously that one in black okay so that's where I'm at so far with these so we're nearly done I've had sort of setbacks after setback of the models I'm doing at the moment um, so <laughs> they've all taken me a lot longer than I had you know intended and that's that's for waiting for decals and all that to come that's what's held me up a lot with this and then the, the shitty weather we've had that's also held me up because I haven't been able to go outside and spray okay right okay so I've got the wheels ready I've put the grey tyres on and now just put the axles on so I'll have to pin those over that through another one on the end and then I'll just pin it over on my little anvil I've got there all I use is this this little hammer here and then I just tap them down like that okay so that's the first one done okay so do the second one this is a bit tight a bit tighter to get on I can't just uh, ground so much off the end which is fine because it makes it easier to pin over that's if I can get the wheel through the axle through the wheel Tap through, I think. Mm -hmm. 
can see this through. Oops. Be careful if you do one of these because the axles are very, very um, soft and they will bend quite easily if you tap too hard and you're pinning them over because that's what happened to me with the other one. It was slightly bowed, I'd straightened it and it, um, but that slight bow when I was knocking it, it just went into a big bow so I had to straighten it again. Okay I'm going to go and pin that over and then we'll come back when that's done. Okay so for those of you who haven't seen me pin these axles over before, I have done them in some of my earlier videos. That's what I use, this anvil and I use that piece there. Um, you can see I have bowed that axle a little bit there. I'm going to have to straighten that. Um, you put, you know, obviously the end that's already um, mushroomed over on there. I put that to stop scratching the wheels when I bang it. Be careful that any of the base doesn't rub on that as well. And then I just go around and tap like that. A little bit harder, but I don't want to bend the axle anymore. Um, sorry, you can't quite see there. And you go around in that sort of motion, like that. So that's the way I do it. But I do it down on the floor because on the bench I can't hit so hard it bounces. Okay, so I'm going to straighten this axle with my pliers and uh, then we'll get on with the next bit putting together. Right, okay, Doug, here goes. My glue, got my rivets. So this is pretty simple, straightforward. So we've just got this tongue here, so that hooks in there. Be very careful. That's it. Oops. Fine. And then uh, it's the case of getting our rivets in. I'm just hoping that I haven't um, put the wrong base on the wrong one here. Right, I've taken that off again because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the glue in the holes first. first because oops sorry because the hole doesn't quite line up okay there you go that's in put this one in I'll try to anyway <laughs> fiddly Okay, that's him in. Front ones. And they're going to have to keep that pressed down a bit because it's a bit springy that base. So I'm going to have to keep that pressed down. that's drying and 
Okay, I'll come back to you when that's dry. I'm going to keep holding that for now. Okay, I think that's okay now. So, that's that one done. Looks quite nice. Come out quite well. So, we'll do the other one. Right, okay, dope, here it goes. Got everything ready. Four rivets. So we do the same as the other one. I'll put the glue in the posts first. Okay, so same thing, hook in the front, gently twist it round, and then get these rivets in. So I'll start again with the back ones because um, that's where the most tension is on on the base pushing upwards one oh. what a pain in the ass <laughs> Trying to get these rivets in. Okay, should have done it that way in the first place. There you go, that one. And finally the last one. Alright, again I'm going to have to keep that pressed down. Yeah. Keep that pushed in. Glue on my fingers now. Right, right, right. right. Okay, again I'll come back to you when uh, the glue's dry. Right, okay, that's it done. <coughs> Turn her over. So, that's that. Another two models saved from the old dinky scrapyard. Right, so I hope everybody's enjoyed this video and this restoration um, it's been quite a long one this for me anyway um, but I am pleased with the way they've both turned out um, the one there with a the squash cab I didn't think I'd get it looking quite as straight as that but um, it's not 100% but it's uh, it certainly improved it and uh, we've got the old jeweled headlights in there as well, which I quite like. I think it suits that model. And like I say, I only put those in because it was in such bad condition and it, it's sort of like a, you know, it's a custom paint job on it. So this one I've tried to keep, obviously, 
uh, yeah, to the original uh, thing, you know, colour scheme that Dinky did. Um, but with just a few little enhancements, like all the, you know, these de detailing on here. Okay, so, um, yeah, thanks again to Mr. David Yates for sending me this one. It's much appreciated, and I hope you approve of, um, you know, the outcome of my restoration on it. So, thank you very much everybody for watching, and, um, you know, if you've enjoyed this one, I hope you'll join me again next time for another diecast restoration video and um, I'll do the same as usual we'll do some outdoor shots and then I'll put them both back on the old turntable and um, you can see before and after again okay so until next time look after yourselves take care and See you in the next video. Cheerio for now. Bye. Habitat.